live and all that. But it's delusional. I know people don't believe in the Bible, but read what Moses wrote. Read the 613 laws he wrote. Read them. How to eat, what to wear, how what not to do, what if you see somebody naked, and all these different things. Just look at them. And say, how can anybody live like that? You can't. And you couldn't. And to top it all off, he contradicted his own Ten Commandments by killing people. He he, he probably, and this is just my viewpoint, I'm not going to hear anybody else say this. I'm a man of my, my word and my truth. Moses was probably one of, if not the greatest black magician to live on this planet. In our history, in the human race, all right. Black magic means healing. White magic means healing. I mentioned that last time. But uh, a black magician, how do you think when he he faced the pharaoh? I mean, they proved a lot of those things really happened in different ways and stuff like that. But when you do that stuff, I was in the magic world as well. There's stage magic, so I know the the fine lines which make things look like people are really magical or have magic powers. But uh, how many people really did in history? How many people to this day do? Well, <clears throat> there's people that can have certain things done to their body. Their certain tune, their mind tunes into certain things. I mean, there's those kind of abilities. How many people can raise a car? Levitate it. How many... But how many people can prophesize or predict one minute into the future every time they do it? How many people have a gift anywhere near a good high percentage? Nobody. It wouldn't be allowed anymore because they would be destructive to the world itself. Now Trump uh, is in his own world, denies everything. Now Putin, who is his friend, talked about aliens. He himself, he himself said thirty-seven alien races, and they were, and they were, and they know two races are trying to destroy the planet, which our government had a war with. Whether we want to believe that or not, don't. It's your choice. You can believe everything's not all that stuff's make believe. When it comes out, and it just might not in your lifetime. I don't know how many more years you're going to live. Whether it's really going to be able to come out in your lifetime. Uh, but it, it probably will. I, I say this is going to explode at probably this year, if not next year. But it can't go much further. I mean, every time I say that, every year goes by, makes it that much more that it has to happen. There's a UFO video up every day. I mean, from every country, from every race. And, I mean, to believe that this uh, small tribal people would take a video... Now, there was a tribe in Africa. The whole school, all the kids saw the ship land and went over to the aliens. And they made each one draw pictures of them and and this, that, and the other thing. So were they all delusional? Were they all programmed? I mean, anything's possible. But how about taking, like, let's take the most possible rational idea. That they saw something. I mean, this whole thing about Russia rushes in in fear of the United States starting war with an alien species, put that on your computer, pull it up. Look at the ship getting exploded going into the ocean. Look at, uh, now they're talking about Putin sent his fleet of ships off the uh, coast as well. Now, why would that all be? And then what's the government say? They had three days of darkness. And they said, well, a chemical company blew up, put the chemicals out in the air, everybody started hallucinating. And they all saw the ship get blown up. So, who's going to tell you the truth? Who do you want to tell you the truth? Somebody that really doesn't know the truth. Somebody that doesn't want you to know the truth. How about somebody that knows the truth and wants you to know the truth? Well, we should think about that. Is Trump the right man? Who's going to be the right man to be in office to help us deal with what's going on? Fracking? Let's do more fracking? Let's stop burning coal again. Let's toxify the planet the best we can. Let's go after the native people again. I mean, they already did as much as they could, but no, they didn't do enough. Now, let's flat fracture in the ocean. Let's do all these other things. What they did in Hawaii, here. 
do you think you're following the right person, the right God, the right being, the right master, the right teacher? Why? What did they do for you to make you believe that they're important or right? Why go to healing? Of what? A toothache? Well, I had cancer and I was going to die. Who said you were going to die? The doctors did. Well, the doctors want everybody to die. But they want to get as much money out of you as they can before you do. So they give you medicine that makes you sick and stay sick. Every medicine that you watch on TV, oh, this is the cure, or this helps with that. But it gives you maybe 20 different side effects. Now, if you talk about things that are natural, like peroxide or baking soda, oh, they can't be used. They're dangerous. Really? What side effects do they have? In small quantities, they can heal almost every cancer and everything in your body. Uh, So let's feed them poisons instead and make people believe that. And they do. Why do we believe synthetic sugar is so good for us and real sugar is so dangerous? Because they tell you that over and over and over. Brainwash you to believe that. Because these companies are putting more and more into it. And I'm telling you, how many people, well, if you're not old enough, you wouldn't know, but how many people you know died of Coca-Cola when it had real Coke in it? I mean, I watched people get high from it and things like that, and it was a thing you had to do to make it so that you did get high from it. And I just found out some countries still have Coke in it. Well, we're, we're, we're very slow in learning, if you, if you call that learning. Uh, we're not. So religion by themselves didn't hurt people. It's the men that get involved that try to fit the rules into what they want to make it believe that will work for them. Not what's right or what's true, just what's right for them. Now, the people that push this out is the ones that make sure that it fits what they have out there to control you. I, I, New Age world is just as bad. It's no different. Now, like I said, it's the God that they worship. They don't worship a real God. They don't even understand a real God. They just want to believe creation just is uh, an energy form saying, let's create a human and create a human, or whatever. It's, let's avoid truth. Let's avoid, avoid the ultimate truth and stick with our homemade ideas because I can deal with that. I like that. Well, sadly, it's it's sad. It's not true, it's not right, and it won't help you get nowhere in the future, and it's not going to do anything good for you when you die. Well, you know, uh, there's many asking me about the drilled holes, in the, uh, but uh, I can probably get into that maybe at the end if I have time. i got so many things. i I got to talk about something incredibly important in the second hour. I, I try to keep Sunday spiritual. Does it sound spiritual? Oh no, it sounds like a bunch of... No. No, it... If you don't learn how to find your way to become spiritual, it's life and that's all it is. It's not a spiritual path. It's a way to do nothing, to become nothing, to move forward doing nothing. So, now, I want to talk about freedom before I talk about God. All right. Uh, I ask you if you believe in God. Do you? Do you have a reason to? Do you want to? Hold on one second. There's a bunch of noise coming in. Let me try to stop it. Hold on. Sorry about that. Uh, so, I, I'm I'm not moving as fast as I wanted to. Uh, but let's let's. I'm, I, I gotta try to get as much as I can in the next ten minutes. How come people think religion is related to the word spiritual? And how come people that use the word spiritual think they're spiritual? It's, it's delusional, and it's a false idea that's easily accepted because it's easy to accept the lie, especially if the lie doesn't hurt you. The, pr- 
programming that you get, make sure you stay on track of, of the idea that it's right. I mean, and that program doesn't have to be a solid one, whether it was by the government, I mean, where they take you in a room and put machine on you, or they give you these hardcore drugs, or just your parents beating you up every day, telling you something over and over. I mean, it can happen any which way. Programming can happen in a, in a non-realized state of a person doing it to you. It's called conditioning. I mean, they condition you to accept what they're saying, even though they don't think they're programming you to believe it. But when a mother tells a child they're stupid, a child just has to hear that a few times. And it stays with that child for life. Well, yeah, those people out there have crazy ideas. And if we're smart enough not to listen, uh, it doesn't make it easier, but it makes it right. And it makes things work right in the future. Remember, this is all the hard work you've got to do. You want a beautiful house, you have to put all the work into it to have the house built. And then you could step into it. You just can't step into the beautiful house. You've got to make it that first. So no matter what we're dealing with, no matter how bad it seems, we're creating the groundwork for what we truly need. You remember, somebody just put, there's so many levels of programming, and there are. And it comes from everything around us. So, okay, how many people call themselves spiritual? Lots of people. Do they believe in God? Very few of them do. And then the ones that say they were one with God, and I, I go over that. I don't want to go over that too much again. Hopefully, you hear me, you heard me say it, you understand that. But I'm sure people heard it, don't understand it. But 30 years ago, when, when the New Age world started to get strong, Everybody's son was a, was a indigo child. One thing that there was blue star children coming into this world, meaning, I and I had to meet with them. Well, that's a great thing. We've got to break through that matrix of of programming ideas and acceptance to it. But uh. When this whole thing started breaking open, everybody's son was an indigo child, star child. And they were trying to make him be psychics and trying to make him do this and putting him on some kind of diets like it's going to make him better. Uh, but there was, to me, it was blue star children, meaning totally aware children coming into this world. I don't know, I'm trying to think what year it was when it really kind of started where I could actually see them. And all I had to do was actually touch them. I mean, touch their hand, or touch their head. Uh, and they would awaken just like that. It's like you turned on a switch. Because their mother and father... Well, you know, the MUFON group uh, in the United States is pretty lame and stupid. Uh, you know, you can see a, a star child when you look into their eyes there's such a brightness in their eyes itself but uh, well move on I, I don't deal with them I do talk to them call them jerks whenever I can uh, I try to get to them and say look you put all these speakers at your meetings why don't you get somebody that knows what they're talking about uh, which very few UFO groups do conferences do and I'm not going to go into all the names of them, but they all have people that are going to tell you stories that have nothing to do with going to help us. If you think learning that a UFO is over your head is going to be anything important, and that's disclosure, and I mean, I'm not going to say the names, but when they come out and say, well, I worked for the government for 10 years, and I, I did all the files, and what do you got to say? That they had 200 cases, 2,000 cases of UFOs? So? Do you have proof of what they did, what, where they went, how they got here, and all, any of that? Of course not. So they're in such a...